I like to call this video watching grass grow because over time after a procedure you may forget what you used to look like and I see you at certain intervals and I remember what you used to look like and you don't remember what you used to look like and you can't, you can't remember you know was it is it much improvement where I'm blown out of my mind until I show you the photographs. This is particularly important for people from out of town because when people are from out of town I can't sit here with standardized lighting and show you before and afters and show you how far you've come. I had a lady that had a fat transfer about 15 months ago and she was like, I don't know if I see much change. Show her the photograph, standardized lighting, it's like, wow, I look great, thank you, because we can't remember where things are. I like the analogy of thinking about a haircut. Oftentimes, you just wake up one day, you need a haircut. My hair is too long, it doesn't look attractive, I need this cut. But two days ago, you didn't notice it. Three days, three days ago, you didn't notice it. And, and why is that? Because there are slow changes that occur over time. Like when a hair transplant's put in, you, you don't see the results. And over time, you don't remember what you used to look like. I had a gentleman, 26 years old, very young for having a hair transplant. But again, uh, for actually for his reason I did it is because he went to an outfit which was a very quick job, it was horrible, everything looked terrible, and I was stuck with needing to, tra needing to transplant him. And six months later he came in and he goes, you know, I don't think I see much change. I'm looking at the guy, he looks like 20 years younger, even though he's 26, he looks like his age in other words. He looked like he was like 46 when he first came to me. Showed him the before and afters in every angle and he was blown out of his mind. Not only at the result, but at the effect it had on his face. Now how could he have complete amnesia of what he used to look like six months ago? because he didn't look at himself for that period of time, he just slowly changed. And that slow change is always like what I call watching grass grow. You all of a sudden need to mow the lawn one day and you didn't think you needed to mow it three days ago. You don't see those changes and so I see those interval changes for you and I'm always blown out of my mind because I have a, a good memory of where uh, you used to start and when I see that, I'm like, wow, you look great. So here's a, a tip for you. Anytime you feel like my result is not good enough, please come in, let me see it. I wanna make sure I can show you photographs and standardized lighting to show you how far you've come. That's very, very important. Now, how about those people that fly into my work? Just did a gentleman actually from England for an otoplasty a couple days ago. One day later, he goes, I don't know if I see much change. I throw the before and afters, and he goes, oh my God, this is what my ears lo used to look like? One day later. So I encourage you, please, if you are coming from out of town for a procedure, and you have a, a, and you cannot come back for a repeat photograph with me. If there's any question of my work, my high recommendation for you is to use standardized lighting, standardized camera work, so that you can follow your progress for yourself. How do you do this? Several things. Same way I do mine. Number one, find a room that has no ambient lighting. In other words, no windows, nothing that could change during the seasons, during the time of day. Have the exact same lighting in the room. All doors are closed. Same distance set up to take the photograph. Same camera, same settings of the camera, preferably even the same photographer. And no smiling, chin in neutral position, maybe even same time of day, same hairstyle, same makeup if you're a female. And take that shot so that you get consistency because you will not remember what you used to look like, I promise you. Even if you look amazingly good, people may tell you look great, but people may not tell you look great. It ultimately doesn't matter unless you understand that I want you to track your progress. So, very, very important. Some tips, advice for you. If you're coming from out of town, start with a preoperative photograph, standardized lighting, standardized, you know, with no ambient light, standardized camera, standardized distance, preferably with a professional camera that gives you what's called a one-to-one -one shot, which means that there's no distortion on the, on the edges. So these are just some thoughts. The other thing, too, is pr possibly no flash, because flash creates a ton of distortion and washout of the facial features that creates more of an artifact, in my opinion. So all my photographs are taken with no flash, but in a, uh, this is going to be harder to, to replicate in a relatively small room with very strong floodlights on the top down so that I can have reproducibility. That's very hard to do, but a relatively confined room, very bright lights in the room, but no flash with all the other parameters. So watching grass grow. Remember, if you have any questions about your, the success of your work, or the success of the results, please come in. Let me take a look.